So I do Are it you like filming this. now? It's, yeah, it's going. Oh, okay. Uh, Hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to prep, uh, prep you for some of the questions, though? <laughs> I mean, how you guys pivoted during COVID? <laughs> Please okay. ask me about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to kind of do it a little chronologically, just like talking about your background, you know, how you got into the racing world and or the in, in endurance events. Okay. Um, and then, you know, how you found Run Sign Up, you know, what that onboarding was like. I had and no onboarding. You could okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, no, but you know what? But no, but you it was so to. intuitive. That's what I found. It's as an so intuitive yep. that I, yep. you know, unfortunately, I didn't have any onboarding from the uh, my previous person, so. You just had to figure it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. Like, with my account manager was also in Colorado, Whitney. She just left us a little bit ago, but I didn't really She had capacity. Like, are you sure you're okay? I'm like. I really don't have any questions because like I'm finding everything on like the help articles. <laughs> so like I love you, like we can keep talking, but like I really don't need anything right now. <laughs> we view ourselves in partnership with our customers. We're successful when you're all successful. Our job is to basically build technology that all of our customers can benefit from. I'm Steve Bingham Hawk. I'm a product manager here at Run Sign Up Ticket Sign Up, and I'm here with Jenny Anderson, uh, ride director of the Buffalo Bicycle Classic. It's nice to have you here. Thank Thanks you for being with us. Excited um, to be here. How's your symposium been going? Great. I've learned a lot and asked a lot of questions and got a lot of answers. <laughs> well, that's what it's for. That's, I know. You're getting everything out of it you need to. <laughs> and Perfect. And it's live. <laughs> yeah, right. I love that. Yeah, I've been trying for a while now, so mm -hmm. it's great to have everyone mm -hmm. back. So I'm curious to hear about, about you and mm -hmm. your background. So tell me kind of how you got involved in endurance events. Well, I've been a ride director for some bicycle rides in Colorado. I was the ride director for the Triple Bypass, which is a bike ride, 3,500 riders. It's just a one day and we, uh, we actually made it a two day ride, mm. the double Triple Bypass. <laughs> um, and so I was involved with that. We had a different registration system. And then I was with the Buffalo Bicycle Classic. I work for the University of Colorado. The Buffalo Bicycle Classic is a scholarship fundraiser mm. for the University of Colorado. It's our 20th anniversary this year and we have supported over 430 scholars in the last 20 years. My first day was March 9th, 2020. <laughs> so that was a Monday, but I started on March 9th onboarding with the University of Colorado. Tuesday I got my computer and then Friday I was sent home. And so basically I've learned everything online mm -hmm. with, with, along with the university system and then along with Run Sign Up. Mm -hmm. So I've listened to a lot of tutorials <laughs> about it, and but I found, found it very intuitive to do my ride, and I think that it makes me look like a professional, and I'm really kind of a one-man team right now, so I really rely on updating the website, and mm -hmm. I'm able to do that instantaneously, which I love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so your onboarding was really you training yourself, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. using the uh, the knowledge-based resources that we have on the help articles mm -hmm. and uh, the blog and, and whatnot, the webinars. And the webinars, love the webinars. Right, mm -hmm. what, 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 help, what were so helpful about those? I think, uh, you know, renewing your event, We've been with Run Sign Up for seven years, mm. and so it was just renewing the event. So it was great because I could put in the new jerseys that we offered, the new merchandise that we offered, and then we added gravel rides, and so we added that. And then Run Sign Up was so helpful in 2020 when we pivoted over to the virtual event. I mean, Run Sign Up, I think, stayed so innovated. And then I even got the idea of putting uh, the t-shirt the design. We used a buffalo with a mask on. Well, I, I love the t-shirt idea with the mask. That's, I think, well, that's I got certainly that from unique and, yeah. Well, because of the Scott's coffee run. Oh, right. They <laughs> used a coffee filter, a coffee filter on the t on there <laughs> for the t-shirt. And I thought, you know what? That's such a great idea. Embrace the situation. Mm -hmm. and. People sure. love the t-shirts and one thing that I just um, I was very proud of is that during COVID we were able to keep our, our sponsors kept up with us and we had more fundraisers. We had zero expenses really mm. other than the t-shirts sure. but we actually made money during COVID and we were able to add eight scholars. That's eight wonderful. scholars that year during COVID. We had a rainy day fund and we didn't have to dip into it. So wow. it was fantastic. That's amazing. And I really, I uh, attribute that to run sign up. 
because uh, people signed up for the ride because we thought we, we, we could have a hybrid ride. We didn't know what was going, going on with COVID. Sure. Our ride is in September. So run sign up, I was able to put in no refunds, but if we have to change the ride because of COVID, it's going to be a virtual ride. Right. So we had 250 riders signed up and we an instant button yeah. switched them over Quick to a transfer. virtual ride. Yep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. So they obviously they did the ride on their own and then did they log their participation anywhere? Were they sort of, how did that? They kind of did it on out. their own. A yeah. lot of people were from out of state too. Yeah. And then we altered the courses. We had nine different courses, but we, we actually used our sponsors with Cliff and Scratch, our mm -hmm. hydration drink. And we put containers at coffee shops uh, along the way oh, wow. at the shops and told them uh, rather than aid stations, but they could stop on their virtual ride. They had two weeks to do the virtual ride. And then they could stop at those coffee shops where we left Cliff bars and Scratch. That's so great. they checked in there. So, you know, we don't, we're still kind of recovering from that period. We're mm -hmm. not really out of that period yet. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a lot of things like crunches on expenses and labor rates obviously are much higher, but just curious to see, you know, what are, you know, now that you're back doing a live event, are there any other things that have sort of mm -hmm. changed since then? We're going to keep the, vir we didn't offer virtual rides before, mm -hmm. but I think with, we're really trying to get C the CU alumni to get involved. And so uh, there's clubs all along the, uh, the U.S. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully they can go watch the football game, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the day before mm -hmm. on Saturday and then do the virtual ride before or after the game. So we really wanted to uh, create competitions for fundraising and have them sign up for the virtual ride. So I think every event should offer virtual ride because it's basically a donation but we're going to send them a t-shirt and a bib but I think keeping up with the virtual rides we're going to we're going to continue with right yeah it's mm -hmm. not a huge lift on on your team right and it just opens expands the the potential for anybody to participate mm -hmm. and support you right mm -hmm. yeah it makes a lot of sense what are the features and tools that you like the best about Golly, that's so up. hard to answer. I like it all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, the, uh, the real reason I wanted to come to this conference is to learn about the race day check-in yeah. because we are signing the bibs at packet pickup and we printed our own little labels and trying. We have 1,100 riders and nine different routes. Mm. And so printing out the stickers, finding their stickers and uh, you know sticking it on their bib and everything. So I think the race day check-in using the QR codes. So they um, on their confirmation, they get the QR code. So we can they can have it on their phone or print it out bib will have the qr code according to the mm. bib number mm -hmm. and so we can put that together and we can put whatever information we want on there so their t-shirt size if they had merchandise emergency contact number mm. and then that will all be printed on the label that we can put on mm -hmm. and it's just all together and then i think the most important part is the medical team can mm. actually look at the QR code, have the check-in app, and use the QR code and find out their name and the emergency contact number in a heartbeat, which I think is so important. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned fundraising. Have you been using the team fundraising? Have you used any of the milestones and badges? Kind of, what does fundraising mm -hmm. look like for you? Well, fundraising is up? very important to us, yeah, <laughs> obviously. Sure. And we had a person that was trying to get us to, uh, to go to another registration site, and they didn't have fundraising. And we need fundraising and to have the milestones. They reach their milestone, they get a little badge, and then they get a whole bicycling kit um, if they raise $500. And so we have like 25 fundraisers, and then we have have the colleges are all going to compete against each other. Love it. And then the Anschutz Medical Center is going to, they have a team of like 140 people. Mm. The nice thing is, is they can sign up to do the ride mm -hmm. or they can just, uh, if they can't do the ride, they can donate to their team. And so we're going to have prizes for the largest fundraising team and, and the individuals. I love how on our cover page, we can have a video promoting our event and then also the money raised so they can see how we're going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And what have you heard from your riders that are using Run Sign Up? I mean, the nice thing is, is if they need to contact us, like we had some people that deferred to next mm -hmm. year and hey, how do I do that? And I'm just like, okay, put their email address in the search bar and defer them to mm -hmm. the next year. But I think that it's 
easy to sign up and especially we mm -hmm. have a lot of okay. return riders so I think that they're familiar with the system and what I love about run sign up too is that I can look at the previous years since we've been doing it for seven years mm -hmm. I can send emails to everybody mm -hmm. but then you know pick out the years I mean I send it to everybody anyway <laughs> but I can also compare you know where we were this far in advance mm -hmm. of the ride day with all the different years and then I love gift receipts and the, the fundraising badges Jenny, um, you, you have to show everybody who's watching this right now your notes because you did such a great job. <laughs> um, you're a good student at Symposium and well prepared for our conversation today. Aww. I love it. <laughs> so the you guys are using coupons, you said? Oh, the coupon codes. I mean, I make coupon codes, like I feel like daily. <laughs> I mean, for our sponsors, they get some comp registrations. And then the nice thing is I can put, you know, they get merchandise too, so then it's 100%. Mm. And then I do coupon codes that they can send out to their clients clients mm. for $15 off. So I love the aspect that you can do a percentage because mm. like in July, I did a percentage before we ordered our merchandise. So 15% off registration and merchandise. So I make a, a lot of co coupon codes. Anything else that we didn't cover on the things that you wanted to make sure you were <laughs> <laughs> highlighting? Well, I'm excited about the packet pickup because we do four days prior to the ride. Mm -hmm. And then we have some people that aren't in Boulder. So they do the packet pickup the, the day of. Mm -hmm. and But streamlining with the check-in app, I'm just so excited about what's that. Your, what's your current process for check -in? Our current process is <laughs> we have two different color bibs. So we have 600 riders that go up Boulder Canyon mm -hmm. and then 600 riders that go on more the flat rides on the, the foothills. So we have two different color bibs. Okay. And so when we were checking people in, depending on what their ride was, and we kind of had it organized by number, and so we would pick the bib out, you know, 1,100 riders, find their sticker, put it on the bib, and then on the sticker it had their t-shirt size. Mm. So I think this is going to be a lot more automated and faster, a lot faster. We can just QR codes and then get their t-shirt and they'll be on their way. Exactly. And I like the flexibility too that you can also look it up by name in case they're fumbling with the QR code or they don't have it on them or something like or that. Or they so forgot it. Exactly. They forgot it. The one thing I love about Run Sign Up too is that my account rep is uh, James. I'll put a, a little head out there for yeah, James. Yeah, Well, <laughs> but the nice thing is they're very responsive. Mm. Uh, very responsive. And like I, I was trying to pull a report to give to the university about the donations. And they mm. wanted to find out if they had given to the university before or not. And so I had to pull a report. And I just could not figure out how I pulled this report and sent an email or a text. I have a, I have a cell phone too. <laughs> so text. And then uh, I was delayed on a check because I had to change the name on it and um, send something to, to contact us. Mm -hmm. And they got back to me right away. And, you know, it's just, they're very responsive and innovative, which I love Run Sign Up. That's awesome. I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> big fan. Well, they make well, us look good. Like, the yeah. thing is, I mean, who doesn't want to look good? You know, the participant comes in and bang, bang, and they're out of there and... We all look. We all look good. So. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. Run sign up. So, so imagine if somebody's calling you and they're on another platform and they're considering coming over to run sign up. What would you? What advice would you give them? What would you tell them about that decision about maybe coming over? Well, if they're doing fundraising, fundraising and donations, I just don't think that there's another platform that really takes care of that. Everything is taken care of with Run Sign Up. Mm -hmm. I mean, registration, the information, I mean, it's so, if you want to add something, you can. And I like that with the website, you can update the website and it's instantaneous. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I ordered the merchandise, if you ordered after July 15th, you might not get the size that you ordered mm -hmm. because they ordered it later and so but I put in there that if you ordered after July 15th if we don't have your size we'll put a second order in and you'll receive it in November mm -hmm. but they know that ahead of time and right. I can put that on the website right. and right at the point where they're selecting their size so right. it's very clear and yeah. relevant yeah so they and, and it's in red so <laughs> right pay, you know <laughs> <laughs> hopefully they'll read it yeah please <laughs> But I just think that it's run sign up is innovative and you can change it yourself. You don't have to wait for somebody else to change it. Like I, I'm changing some of the starting times and I, I can do that instantaneously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to with your event? What does the future look like in, in your mind? 
Well, hopefully we'll grow registrations. Now we're doing a lot more marketing and I think that we've got some new sponsors and pushing that out to our sponsors with the coupon codes. I think that helps grow our event. And the messaging, I mean, like on the cover page, we don't really say that it's a scholarship fundraiser. We want scholars to come to see you who are high merit and high financial need. And I think that pushing out our message is something mm -hmm. that we need to be better at. Did you say you were using milestones? For your fundraising yes. so that they they are getting badges once they're they getting reach badges certain levels. Mm -hmm. okay and then how much is it to sponsor a student then is it is there like a dollar amount that you assign because you're saying like oh like we can do eight if we have this much money right, right? Well, we give them a three thousand a year but they don't have to renew their scholarship mm -hmm. it's for the four years so it's twelve thousand i'm just trying to brainstorm on the milestones of like because i think it's a great way that you can oh. use your mission to reinforce that so for example Habitat for Humanity at events, they gave a milestone of $1,000 and it would actually say in the milestone, you helped paint a house, because that's what it cost them. So 3,000 so, actually sponsors a whole year. I'm just trying to think oh, like, because yeah. I think there's that, that's what's neat about the platform that I've, I've found with the events that I've had on it is that you can just bend it in so many ways mm -hmm. to make it look like you have customized every inch of it, you know, where you really, and it really is just taking some default settings like your, your colors, right, and your mm -hmm. logo and your sponsor logos, mm -hmm. bringing it all together. So you're not really having to do everything, it's sort of bringing it mm -hmm. all together. Um, but every point of the registration or fundraising flow, you're able to, to do those additional customizations. And then part of my job too is that not only organizing this ride, I mean, um, this year we found $22,000 of new sponsors, and then we also got some in-kind sponsors, our sign company, mm. and then also Cisco. I met the right person at the right time with Cisco. I came up with with Dan, another <laughs> another uh, yeah. run sign up person. We were talking about we have a family ride, the Little Buff. It's 14 miles, and we have at the aid stations face painting and snow cones. So it's a, it's a really fun ride. But I thought, you know what? Our title sponsor is Elevations uh, Credit Union, okay. but he suggested, you know, what maybe having, um, you know, Dunkin' Donuts or something, another sponsor for the Little Buff. Yeah. I mean. Uh, Elevations would be fine with it, right. and but just for the uh, for the um, for the little buff to have an ice cream shop or a donut shop or something to um, sponsor the little buff, mm -hmm. and I thought that's a great idea too. So I think that it's just coming up with all these different ideas and like, hey, that's that pays for a scholarship and um, mm -hmm. the milestones and yeah and the sponsorship. So yeah, that's mm -hmm. neat. and then I also. Um, I help with the volunteers, mm. um, the volunteers at Start Finish. And then also part of my job is to be another support system to our 30 scholars that we have presently. So, I mean, especially during COVID, they just really kind of needed to talk to somebody. Sure. And so just to have, I don't, I don't advise them academically, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not there, but just to have another, another um, reinforcement yeah. and support system at, the, at CU. That's great. I mean, mm -hmm. it sounds like an amazing ride, an amazing program. You guys are doing mm -hmm. a lot I have of an great amazing job. I love my job. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's great to hear. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if you enjoyed our conversation <laughs> as much as we did, please like the video and subscribe to our channel.